Good evening, everyone. Three videos in one day. Some kind of record on my part. Tonight, before I lay down the last pipe, I want to read you a short excerpt from Christopher Morley's Shandy Gaff from his short story, The Last Pipe. However, what I'm going to read to you is Christopher Morley's Ideal Conditions for the First Morning Pipe. Peterson Lestrade, speak easy. The sensible man smokes, say, 16 pipefuls a day, and all differ in value and satisfaction. In smoking there is, thank heaven, no law of diminishing returns. Sorry for the noise. I live on a highway. I may puff all day long until I grease with the fumes and soot but the joy loses no savor by repetition. It is true that there is a peculiar, blithe, rich taste in the first morning puffs inhaled after breakfast. Let me posit here the ideal conditions for a morning pipe as I know them. After your bath, breakfast must be spread in the chamber of eastern exposure. Let there be hominy and cream, and if possible, brown sugar. There follow scrambled eggs shired to a lemony yellow with toast sliced in triangles fresh unsalted butter, and scotch bitter marmalade. Let there be without fail a platter of hot bacon, curly, juicy, fried to the delectable point where softness is overlaid with the faintest crepitation of crackle and crispiness. If hot Virginia corn pone is handy, so much the better. Coffee, two-thirds hot milk, also with brown sugar. It must be permissible to call for a second serving of the scrambled eggs, or if this is beyond the budget, let there be a round of judiciously grilled kidneys with mayhap a sprinkle of mushrooms grown in chalky soil. That is the kind of breakfast they used to serve in Eden before the fall of man and the invention of innkeepers with their crass formulae. And I believe that is what Christopher Morley would choose as his breakfast prior to smoking his first pipe. Well, folks, pray you have a good night, pray you rest, and wake up content. Pray the Lord bless you, keep you, guards your hearts and minds, and gives you peace. In Jesus' name, good night.